So why don't we get a packet of Marlboro Red and a packet of Haribo Tang Tastics? <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out this funny guy. This funny man, Kevin Bridges. This is the youth of today. Let's go. They make me feel older than I should feel, like other new celebrities, YouTubers. You know, I, I, don't know who, I don't know who people are until they're fighting Floyd Mayweather. That's <laughs> a strange age to be. I'm saying, who's Logan Paul? Uh, I don't know, but a 10-year-old would put a knife through your windpipe for a bottle of his energy drink. <laughs> So he's done something right. <laughs> Fucking 25 quid for a bottle. Of Sorry, already. He's killing me already. It's so true, you know. Like, I feel like every kid under the age of 15 in the UK knows Logan Paul. And he's, he's not even from the UK, it's from America. Ask your child, ask your grandchild who Logan Paul is. They know him. It's so crazy. Like, I feel like YouTubers are way more famous than than your normal you know your normal traditional celebrities you know your actors your musicians youtubers are way more famous trust me and they're making way more not me but they're making way more not me let's get back to this a juice and then they're chain vaping they're wee disposables they're wee elf bars what, what happened to the youth is the big tobacco companies fought not enough young people are smoking cigarettes so why don't we get a packet of marrow pro red and a packet of Haribo Tang Tastics <laughs> and, <laughs> and empty them into a blender and get that liquid and we'll put it in a wee heated element and take a couple of puffs. That's what started the vaping in there. They're a strange bunch, right, with their vapes and their bottles of prime and they're always fucking whining about something. <laughs> <laughs> the youth of today are a strange bunch. I think if Michael Jackson was still alive, he'd be saying, I'm not sharing a bed with these fucking weirdos. He'd be saying, get me an adult in here for a decent conversation. <laughs> oh, mate, it's my anxiety. Shut the fuck up, Shamo. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't believe that they should get the blame. Even, even COVID, that was that. The, the way children were represented during COVID, uh, you know, the, all that time that they missed off school, and that was, that was all you would see on the telly, the wee stressed out dweebs complaining. <laughs> We are being we are being robbed of our futures. Covid, Covid has stolen our education from us. Do you know what? When it when it comes to education, most people did their exams at home. Like, do you know how lucky you were to do your exams at home? When I think back, I'm like, if I had a chance to do my uni exams back when I was, oh my god, like I'd get nothing less than 80, 85, literally. <laughs> so I don't know why you're complaining. Obviously, they all, you know. The whole uni life, you know, of you, you know, going to parties, your first party, getting to meet people, you know, enjoying the sports. Obviously, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. But apart from that, when it comes to actually getting away with loads of stuff, when it comes to like learning and getting, having to pass your exams easier. Like if you fail during COVID, you must be, I don't know where you are. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that anyway. We'll never get this time back and we are the forsaken generation. Let's see. And that's when I thought, fuck off. I, I, there's no way that was an accurate representation of every child's attitude to such lengthy spells off school. Would it have been too much to have heard from the kids who hit the jackpot during that whole time? They never had to sit exams. Wow. What a time to be fucking stupid. <laughs> Stick one of them on the telly. I bet there's some belters made it to university <laughs> the past few years. Put them on the telly, cheer people up a bit. I was gonna do travel and tourism, but I got into <laughs> medical school. <laughs> it's cause I've got emotional intelligence, everybody tells me. <laughs> It's a new polite way of telling a child he's a fucking dunce. <laughs> 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 
and they try to fucking turn <laughs> oh man i love the way he still brings old school into it he doesn't care about being kind to it he's just saying it as it is man because that's the way life is right now most new comedies are you know they be they, they try to be I don't use too woke. You can be woke, you know. It's good to be woke sometimes, you know, on some certain political issues. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still comedy. Say as it is. Don't water it down. Which is why I like this guy. Like, he's still saying the same stuff he said 10 years ago, 15 years ago. He's still keeping it down. I'm loving it. If you want to see more of Kevin Bridges, check out Patreon. It goes out earlier. Uh, just in case some stuff do get blocked on YouTube. So, in case you're seeing any copyright stuff on his on his face, it's because it has to be like that or it, it wouldn't get onto YouTube. Uh, yeah, support me on Patreon. Support me on, and be a member on YouTube and I'll try to do as much as I can. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.